Ever pondered how millions of Atlantic salmon are cultivated at sea farms? It's a fascinating journey that starts in select regions of the world, Chile, Norway, Canada, and Scotland. These places have just the right natural conditions for successful salmon farming, including cold water temperatures between 8 and 14 degrees Celsius. The cultivation of Atlantic salmon is an intricate dance with nature, carefully choreographed over a span of three years. The journey of an Atlantic salmon begins in a controlled freshwater environment. This is where the magic happens. The first year of the salmon's life cycle is spent in these carefully designed facilities, where conditions are meticulously managed to mimic the natural habitat of the salmon. This is no small feat. The water temperature has to be just right, usually between 8 and 14 degrees Celsius, to ensure optimal growth and development. Here, the salmon are bred and nurtured, given the best possible start to life. They're fed a balanced diet, monitored for health, and allowed to grow at a natural pace. This process is critical in setting the stage for the rest of the salmon's life cycle. It's an intricate dance of nature and science, of care and cultivation. And it's all done with one goal in mind, to raise healthy, robust salmon that are ready for the next stage of their journey. Once they have matured enough, the salmon are ready for the next phase, the move to saltwater cages. As the salmon grow, they are transported to their new home, the saltwater cages. This transition marks a significant phase in their life cycle. It's not just a change in habitat, but a shift in the salmon's biological makeup as they adapt to the saltwater environment. This process, known as smultification, involves numerous physiological changes. The salmon develop a silvery color, their gills adapt to excrete salt, and their kidneys adjust to handle the increased salinity. It's a testament to their resilience and adaptability, signs of a well-suited species for aquaculture. In these saltwater cages, the salmon continue to mature, propelled by the currents that mimic their natural habitat. Their diet is carefully monitored to ensure optimal growth and health. Over time, these once small freshwater dwellers transform into large, robust fish, their bodies honed for the harshness of the open seas. When they have reached their optimal size, the salmon are ready for the final stage, the harvest. Harvest time signals the end of the cultivation process. With maturity, the salmon are carefully harvested and promptly transported to processing plants. Here, they undergo a meticulous preparation process, ensuring the highest quality and freshness. Whether you prefer the whole fish or just the filet, each piece is handled with the utmost care. This journey from sea to marketplace is a testament to the dedication and expertise of our aquaculture professionals. And there you have it, the journey of the Atlantic salmon from freshwater beginnings to your dining table. But why is Atlantic salmon farming so important? The answer lies in its multifaceted benefits. This practice feeds millions by providing a sustainable source of protein. It bolsters local economies, creating jobs and fostering growth. It plays a significant role in global food security, ensuring we have a reliable food source in our rapidly changing world. So the next time you enjoy a meal of Atlantic salmon, remember the intricate process that brought it to your plate. 